What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear here today with a look at the new Evil Craft Chaos Miniatures. Now, these guys are actually really cool. Obviously, you can't say Chaos Space Marines because that's like, or they can. I can say whatever the F I want. But these are basically like, you know, <laughs> Chaos Space Marines. But sculpted up and kind of, you know, uh, it's like a standalone kit so you can augment any existing miniatures you might have out there with some cool looking like shoulder pads, legs, bolters, um, torsos that even got arms and different things like that. Now of course we all know there's a big loss soon, GW chapter house, blah blah blah, but at the end of the day <laughs> you can pretty much do whatever you want as long as you don't call it exactly what Games Workshop does and of course Games Workshop's going and taking all of their IP and renaming it into something that's completely trademarkable by them completely. So that being said, you know, for right now, you can definitely say, you know, Chaos, because Chaos, of course, is a concept <laughs> that is not copyrighted. It was a book called The Chaos Theory in the 60s that brought all this kind of into being, uh, so to speak. But uh, all that aside, I love Chaos. If you're an aficionado auto of the Dark Powers and you love playing Chaos as well, well, these might just be the miniatures for you. Some really great upgrade kits. And I'll tell you what, I really, really enjoy checking these things out. Now, they sent they sent this stuff to me and a huge apology here guys they sent this stuff to me last year and I totally lost it and forgot about it and I was just going through some stuff to start packing the move and I found it again so I was like oh man I totally owe these guys <laughs> let, let me talk about their product some because it's definitely something I believe in I love the high quality resin sculpts that they have and I really love obviously the, the subject matter that's it seems to be all they do um, and you can check out their site it's evilcraft.eu over in uh, Poland it looks like and you know really great looking stuff they don't necessarily come like this in these little blisters, they, they kind of have a certain way that they sell it. Um, so first off, let's take a look at these arms, weapon, little weapon arm kind of things right here, right? And then you got some backpacks, some more weapon arms. And these are basically like the backpack kind of kind of tips, you know, kind of like the uh, Warfire gargoyle kind of things that Games Workshop does. Well, they do it a little bit, uh, a little bit better here because um, they're a little separate I feel like you know so you got these separate pieces here that lock onto the backpacks now you're probably thinking hey how does this compare up to a, a normal games workshop miniature well I have an album here and what other legion to compare these two than the greatest space marine legion out there of course the iron warriors one of my favorites <laughs> of course I might be biased so you got these and obviously you can tell right there that they, they size up very well um, you know almost lock it in there and of course if you uh, the, the one reason I like that they don't put the backpack vents on there is if you're doing like some heavy weapons or something like that or you're doing a very dynamic pose you can kind of work those in there and of course you have your choice of kind of how you want to do it or which ones you want to use maybe you want to use all the same one or something like that you know it gives you options and different things there as well now that being said as far as options go you got these different hand options as well you can do um, the, the gripping stock hands here or you can do the open palm hand that's um, you know obviously made to have some sort of weapon right there um, you know whether it's a chainsword or a power weapon or power axe whatever whatever you know they just kind of lock into the end here and you're probably thinking well hey how's that compare let's take a look well there you go boom super easy lines right up it's definitely now it, it would be probably a little bit difficult to do the whole um, you know um, I mean well Back in the day, when they, they had the bolters, you know, basically holding the hand out and doing the stock grip, uh, it, it was a little difficult. But now, you know, when you when you line it up, you definitely want to uh, don't glue your bolter in and just kind of lock it in right there. So if you're trying to go for that, you would basically do something like this, where you put the grip right there, and then you would take this and put your uh, holding hand right there if that's what you wanted to do and you want to make it hold a bolter and then you would kind of just kind of hold it and drop the bolter into it and just line it up while the glue dries on the two sides here and that way you don't um, you know you don't you're not trying to glue like three different pieces together as two different pieces are kind of like falling out of the sky onto each other so I really like this kit it's very dynamic uh, it's very cool or excuse me those are two different upgrade sets they, I think they send you six of everything it's a little weird um, kind of how they do it as far as numbers but um, you know a little bit more effective I guess as far as depending on what you're trying to kit out then you got some cool looking shoulder pads right here um, and some torso so there's those there's a little sprue of shoulder pads I think these come 10 to a pack they, you know they just kind of send out a little sampling 
obviously I think these come six, the torsos come six to a pack, and there's these cool little um, groin plates too that we're going to talk about that I thought were really neat, kind of like a uh, uh, cool little bonus there, uh, almost, you know. So you've got these two, uh, these are the two different sets of the shoulder pads they have, and when you buy the pack, I think you get two different sprues of this, and I think they're around $12, I think the set of six of these is around $12. The, um, I forget what the arms are, but it's all very affordable. I mean, obviously, um, it's on par with, you know, kind of like a boutique kind of resin uh, miniatures. But, when you, you know, when you take into consideration the stuff like this that you can't get anymore, like the metal iron warrior stuff, you know, it's all, it's all about the same price, to be honest. So, just keep that in mind. So, you got these uh, shoulder pads right here. And these are really cool because they've got all these different options, like kind of some spiky looking things and some... Uh, tabard kind of um I guess this is more like a heresy style uh, mark 5 armor and then these like kind of uh, cut in here kind of um, very uh, I guess uh, far far east kind of feel to them and then obviously they work very well over the existing plastic kits there it just kind of locks right in uh, I still got them on the sprue here so it's a little bit more difficult to, uh, to kind of maneuver but obviously you can see that they're going to lock in there and do a really good job on the miniature. And then you got these ones here which are a little bit more demonic, you know you got the, you got the, um, uh, the star kind of jumping up out of here, it's just really, um, this is more kind of like your berserker kind of, you know, uh, word bearers kind of guys and these are kind of your everybody else standard black legion fair I guess kind of kind of feel right there you know and you get two sets of each so you could easily put one on each side and one on the other but what's also nice about these is that it's got the uh, the flat surface here so you can paint on your legion uh, colors or chapter banners hazard stripes if you're on warriors of course and then on the other side you could do those and vice versa if you just want to go all those you, you should get two sets uh, in their little upgrade kit uh, to do that so you know it's kind of cool so there's those very very nifty looking stuff and then we've got these uh, the actual torsos right here which are again very well detailed I mean take a look at that they're very uh, I guess a little bit more demonic -y. so this is just the one set I have right here there might be some on the other one there but I didn't see any uh, at the first glance they just kind of packed them in and so these obviously uh, maybe not be would be suited for like iron warriors or like black legion but they're definitely suited for like word bearers or like angrons guys stuff like that so very cool oh, night lords of course and then you've got these little uh, groin plates here that you cut off right around this circle and then they basically attach you know like right right there at the groin because you see on that you know on the plastics there really isn't any detail right there so when you start uh, kind of connecting those guys up right there they can just kind of go right around in that slot it's gonna look you know really cool in my opinion so uh, very cool stuff obviously you know these <laughs> these were designed back in what 2003 2002 and now we're looking at you know upgrade pieces for them that uh, really gets them up to the to, you know the mid 2000s at least kind of where we're at right now and the last bit of parts uh, that they sent over to take a look at are these really cool ones here you got some bolters uh, kind of some alternate bolters um, they're they're pretty you know they're pretty cool looking they definitely should look way more different than the marine ones that are out there because remember if you know the chaos lore they're supposed to be like 10,000 years old um, so I imagine the other loyalist stuff would change a little bit and these would be a little bit more uh, kind of transmuted from being in the war and then we got three different sets of legs like I said they sell most of the stuff in uh, sets of sixes but this is just you know say hey check this out okay no problem I love chaos these heads are really nice now you got the whole sorts of variety from kind of like nervous slanesh kind of things to more you know um, like a kind of like a, I forget what they called this it was I want to say a crusader helm kind of pattern so you know once you start looking at, at all of these you can definitely say oh well that's that no well that's that and I could use that for that or even if you just buy these guys uh, just to make them your champions in your squad they're really cool I feel like and then you got these cool looking legs here that you know go really well with those little um, groin plates that I kind of showed you like that they they have they leave the room right there and they have a little bit more detail already right there in the groin itself as opposed to kind of the, some of the, the GW plastics which just have that stupid little skull. So these are already very well detailed and of course they got the wider stances, they're doing a little bit more so they'll definitely look better on uh, the 32 millimeter bases that everybody seems to be 
uh, picking up more and more these days. So you get those three sets there and the heads. And then we've got these cool, uh, you know, kind of alternate bolt guns. They come two to a little sprue here and you get uh, six in this set. Now these two are pretty much, I think it's, nope, they're different too. So these are six different bolters actually, which are really neat. And they've got, let's see if you can see it here. They've got, um, you know, all of the little, you know, kind of like possession-y kind of little things in there, you know, all the little doodads and, and things. And um, the only thing, the only gripe I have with these is they don't, I always like the, um, instead of like that magazine in there, just the free-flowing bullets, kind of the chaos -y look in the bolt pistols and the bolters as well. That's just a personal preference kind of thing, but I definitely uh, prefer that myself. These are great looking. These will make great Nurgle, uh, Nurgle Bolter guys. Obviously, they're known for their True Grit, you know, the Iron Warriors, uh, of course, always be rocking them as well. And then you got the Black Legion. They're more Reavers and Ravagers, uh, kind of kind of thing, more bolt pistol -y. But, you know, I'm sure they have some Bolters as well, Night Lords, you know, all those guys. Obviously, it's very generic chaos, but it'll work with just about any of the the chaos guys you have out there so um that's you know that's just a, a quick look at the uh the whole line uh basically of the chaos stuff from from evil craft miniatures so if you're looking to get some chaos uh, miniatures or upgrade some champions or just kind of do something different you know you might want to check these guys out because they <laughs> their stuff pretty much rocks and i wish i had uh <laughs> I had uh, gone with these guys, or they were even around way back in the day, and it it definitely be cool to see some Legion stuff from them, uh, maybe more um, spe uh, specific to a certain Legion, but you know, who kn who knows if there's a market for that or not, I, I just thought it would be pretty neat uh, myself there, so again, Evilcraft Minis, uh, evil, www.evilcraft.eu, uh, check out all their offerings over there, and I think some of the retailers in England also, uh, some of the mail order businesses in England might also stock them. So if you're looking to uh, just get from an existing uh, source that you might already deal with, uh, you may be in luck there as well. So make sure you check that out. So stay in the trenches, subscribe to this YouTube channel, check out the blog, spikybitsblog.com, and head on over to thelongwar.net. That's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content and early access videos, and now some special discounts on other mail order products through Dicehead Games and Secret Weapon Miniatures. Become a veteran of the long war today.